Eagle 7 here and in this video I want to discuss setting our barometric altimeter and our radar altimeter but first we need to define a few terms. The most common altitudes used in DCS are MSL and AGL. MSL stands for mean sea level and it is a datum or a fixed starting point of measurement for elevation and altitude. It simply me measures the barometric pressure or atmospheric pressure within the Earth's atmosphere using a standard reference point referred to as standard day which is sea level at 59 degrees C. That's our starting point. And barometric pressure can be expressed in several different ways. It can be expressed as hectopascals, millibars, inches of mercury, or pounds per square inch. Most commonly in aviation and here in DCS we'll see millibars and inches of mercury. The second is above ground level and it is simply expressed as the actual number of feet measured above the aircraft and that uses the radar altimeter. So let's talk about our standby barometric altimeter here on the right hand panel. You'll see it has a face with numbers on it, a pointer, a box with numbers for our thousands and ten thousands, and a small window on the bottom called a Colesman window. The Colesman window is where we enter our barometric pressure. In real life barometric pressure can be obtained by contacting ATC or through automated weather services such as ATIS, ASOS, or AWOS. They're simply recorded weather observations that we can obtain through the use of our communication radio. In DCS we can obtain our barometric pressure and set our altimeter in one of two different ways. The barometric pressure can be found sometimes on public servers with an overlay near the airport that will have our wind direction, our speed, our temperature, and our barometric pressure. In single player you can set it up in the mission editor. Another way that we can set the barometric altimeter is by using the airport elevation. Airport elevation in real life can be found on a sectional chart, an airport facilities directory, or an approach chart containing the instrument approach or the airport diagram. In DCS we can simply go to the F10 map and we can find the airport elevation on the airport information page. So let me go to F10. We're on the Syria map on a multiplayer server and you can see there's a weather overlay on the lower right hand corner and it gives us our weather, our winds, 150 at 6 knots. It gives us our barometric pressure of 2985 inches of mercury or 1011 hectopascal and our temperature is 22.9 degrees Celsius. So we would use the barometric pressure of 2985. If we go over to the airport symbol click it, go to the aerodrome data box, you can see the airport elevation of 40 feet is listed here. So let's go back to our cockpit. So to enter the barometric pressure of 2985 we simply move the pressure setting knob either clockwise or counterclockwise. Clockwise will increase our barometric pressure in the Colesman window, counterclockwise decreases it. So let's go ahead and set it to 2985. With, with 2985 set in the Colesman window, we can take a look at the needle, and the needle is pointing to approximately 40 feet. Every tick mark is 100, and the tick marks in between that are not labeled are 50 feet. So we have 50, 100, 150, 200, and 250. Our needle is pointing to about 40 feet. Now, if for some reason we didn't know our barometric pressure, we could go to the aerodrome information, we could find the airport elevation, and we could simply use our pressure setting knob, and we can move our dial to 40 feet. and you can see 40 feet is roughly 2985. So our barometric pressure and our airport elevation should be similar. Now the standby or analog altimeter 
basically uses what they call aneroid rate wafers inside or bellows and as the aircraft ascends or descends the atmospheric pressure either expands or contracts those bellows and they're connected by gears and shafts and they move the needle. The radar altimeter has a unit on the aircraft that sends out a, a radio wave straight down from the bottom of the aircraft to the Earth's surface and that radio wave bounces off the ground and comes back to the aircraft and the time that it takes from that wavelength to leave the aircraft hit the ground and bounce back to the aircraft is how we determine the aircraft's altitude above ground level. So let's go over to the MPD and see how we can enter our barometric pressure and our, or, and or our airport elevation into our barometric altimeter and then we can talk about turning on the radar altimeter and setting our high and low altitude alerts for the radar altimeter. Alright, here we are at our left MFD and our keypad unit. So to get to the page to enter our barometric pressure for our altimeter and to turn on our radar altimeter and set the high and low alerts for the radar altimeter we first have to go to our menu button, the M button, go over to the variable action button located at B3 and depress. Next go to the variable action button at B6, depress. And if you look at the top row, T1 through T6, we can see our high and our low altitude alerts for our radar altimeter. We can see the unit of measurement for our el electronic altimeter. Right now we have IN, which is in inches of mercury, but by simply pressing the variable action button, we can change that to MB for millibars. We can change it back. The next button located at T5 has our altitude in feet, and T6 has our barometric pressure. So like we did in the analog altimeter, if we know what our barometric pressure is, we can simply enter it here. So depress the variable action button at T6. You can see it blocks 2992. And now we can go over to our keyboard unit and you see it's asking for the barometric pressure. So we can change it from 2992 to 30.12, enter. And now you see we have 3012 and that it's no longer boxed. And you see our altitude jumped up to 233 feet. So let's go ahead and change that back to 2992. So we see we have 3012. We go down to our keyboard, 29 decibel 92, enter. And our altitude went back to 50 feet. Now if we weren't sure that was correct or we didn't have the barometric pressure like we did in the analog altimeter, we went to our airport information and we saw the airport elevation was 40 feet. So we could go to our variable action button located at T5, depress. Now our altitude of 50 feet is boxed, which means we can go to our keypad and we can enter the altitude on the airport diagram, which was 40 feet, if you remember, and we'll press enter. And you see that lowered the pressure by, by one. It went from 2992 to 2991. And so now we have our standby altimeter set. We have our electric altimeter or digital altimeter set. So now let's go down to our radar altimeter. Our variable action button located at R6. We see a donut next to it. We want to depress, fill in that donut, make it solid. Now our radar altimeter is on. And we can go up to our T1 for our high altitude alert and set that to 1,000 feet. We can go to our variable action button located at T3, depress, we box the number, and then we can enter our low altitude alert for our radar altimeter. And now we have our standby altimeter, 
our digital altimeter and our radar altimeter on and set. So I hope that you found that useful and we'll see you on the next one.